Hi everyone again. Today I will show you how to add script files to your mod. Here is our mod test. And here we see our files. Unlike the previous lesson, this mod have been changed. We see that here has appeared folder scripts in it we may create these folders and it is obvious that the names of these folders must be like here. The most usable folders are 4world, 3game, 5mission. We don't have to delete them if we don't use some of them. So you can create this folder and all these folders anyway. Then we see that they are empty. Here we can locate our script files. There is some changes in config cpp. We see that in our mod I have added these lines. There was only two in the previous mod, but here we see these paths to our folders. Look at this. This means this folder and this way is to the folder next to the next and this is the way game for this folder and this is the way so if we use some script file we have to use the right path to it so in our mod we always can write all of these paths and all of these folders may be located in our mod that doesn't matter the main thing is that if you use, for example, script file that lies in for world, so you need to use this folder and this path. That is obvious. But the other doesn't matter if they are or if they not are. That's understood, I think. Where to take script files? If you don't write them yourself, if you are only modding some file, so where do you take them? For example, here is the game folder. Unpacked game. And we want to change, for example, wooden log. We see wooden log dot C. Here is a script file of wooden lock. We copy it and we have to understand what is the path where lies wooden lock. See, it is for world. Disk C folder P scripts for world. So we have to paste it in our mod the same path for world. Pasted, and all names of your script files doesn't matter. So keep in mind, you may change them as you want. For example, I always add A. Then we want to change it to mod this file. Open it and we see here this. This is the script that use wooden log. If we want to change something that already exists in the game, for example, wooden log is existing already in the game, we have to add this modit, modit class wooden log. So the game will read our changes, but if we don't add this and use so, the game will swear. We don't need it and we add modit. If you want to delete something, some functions from your item, for example wooden log, you may simply delete anything in one function here and save. And that function will not work and it will not use the function from the game from original class. 
For example, there is many functions in your mod, different set actions one, set actions two. You don't want this to work, so you delete this and save. Do not delete all the function. So if you delete all the function, this function will be found it by the game in the original class wooden log and anyway will be used. So we don't need this. If we want to delete something, we delete in this way and save. I think that is understood. Don't delete all the function, delete only the content. OK. But if we want to add some properties to our wooden lock, I always look how it is done in the game. We can always peek into the game files. Sometimes it swears on some functions in mod. For example, it says there is already class void set actions and I know that it will swear. So I delete this because if I delete all the function with the name, as we know, it used from the original class. So, if I delete, it will work well as it worked before. So, I have deleted it because to avoid the error of the game. We have our own item, wooden post box. Copy it, and we just have to create our new file. And we can name as we want, for example, wooden post box. Then we change it to C. Yes. and here. Wooden post box. We don't use modit because this class doesn't have his script in the game and this script we are just creating only now in the game this class has no script, so modit is not needed. Here we can choose this. That's for all now. Bye everyone.